welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name's Elise and I am currently in recovery from anorexia. So it's the end of the year. Like we made it. We survived 2023. It was full of challenges and lots of changes and yeah, just lots of big things happening. I know for me that I've had like complete career flips. I've found new places that I belong. I've, yeah, I've really progressed in a lot of ways in my recovery. In some ways, not so much, but in a lot of ways I have. I'm sorry if you can hear that sound. There's someone obviously doing something outside here. But yeah, of course we have to finish the year with a challenge. And before we get started though, I just want you to appreciate my shirt that was gifted to me by someone very special. It's got a little rainbow on it, like my logo, but also on the back. How cool is that? Anyway, not important, but I just wanted to share that because it was really cool. But yes, anyway, challenge day. So, like I said, as you know, it's the end of the year and I'm hoping to get this up before the end of the year, but it'll probably be up on the first day of 2024 because that's when I have time to edit. Anyway, end of the year, we see a lot of things like new me, new year, new me, all the diet trends are coming out and, you know, new diet rules are being formed and all sorts of things that make us feel that we need to change ourselves, particularly on this new day of the year. And, you know, I don't really set resolutions or anything, but because I never stick to them. And in the past, they've always been around, like, let's lose weight and that kind of shit. But if you set them, that's completely okay. Just make sure they're ones that are nourishing for you, not taking away from you. But that's not what I'm talking about. I thought we'd do a challenge where we go against all the diet trends, all the food rules, all those kind of things that we're seeing a lot of at the moment. Um, that we're made to feel that we need to change, that we should feel guilty because we might have gained weight over the year, we might not be exercising as much, you know, we're being made to feel that we need to exercise more, eat less, eat healthier, eat cleaner, eat less gluten, all this just nonsense that we don't need to do because none of that is healthy if it's not coming from a good place, which 90% of the time it's not. You know, if your only goal for next year is to lose weight, that's not the goal that's not a good goal to have because I've been there and weight loss you know there are times when I feel like I was happier back then but I was never enough I never got to where I thought was enough and I still hated my body I yeah it just never got me anywhere so we're gonna challenge food rules and diet culture rules so I put out a question box on Instagram um, to see what some of your food rules and food like diet culture rules that you've heard of are and I thought I'm gonna put some together and challenge them for you to show you that these rules are ridiculous like I'm not trying to dismiss them as eating disorder rules because we've all got those weird rules that we don't know where they come from they don't make any sense but they're there it's more that they're not, they don't need to be rules. They're not going to hurt you. What you're fearing is not true. So of course there were a lot around like carbs and sweet foods and timings of foods were really common ones, but also a lot of weird things like, you know, um, what was the really funny one about breakfast? There was one about breakfast that said, assume you're going to wake up in the morning have breakfast, don't drink your calories. That was literally an advice page for weight loss. So we're going to challenge them. So what I'm going to do is at each meal and snack today, I'm going to challenge one or two or a few food rules that come up. They might be my own personal ones that I've had in the past. They might be ones you've suggested or they might be diet culture ones. And I want to finish the year by saying we don't need to change anything and that food rules can get fucked and that if we're going into 2024, it's because we're, we want to go into it with food freedom, not more restriction, not more rules. 
So it's gonna be a challenging day. I'm actually, I didn't sleep well because I was so anxious about it and it's so muggy here. But anyway, it's almost time for breakfast. So let's do it. So it's breakfast time now and it's actually really dark in here because I don't know if it's gonna rain or something, but anyway, it's breakfast time and I'm really anxious because I haven't actually challenged this since I did a video on it a long time ago, but the first food rule or like diet culture rule that I want to challenge is that you should only ever have a savory breakfast. So of course we're going to have a sweet breakfast. And alongside that, we're also going to do the rule where only eat off a plate. Somehow only eating off a plate helps you lose weight. So we're going to eat off, well, it's like a bowl plate thing. I kind of need a plate because it won't work in a bowl. You'll see. And also we're going to challenge drinking liquid calories because that was another one. Don't drink liquid calories. So we've got three food rules here um, that go that, that need to be broken because they go against weight loss. So obviously we're having pancakes and we're having syrup and we're having berries. So a nice sweet breakfast and we're going to have juice because, you know, fuck diet culture. So I'm going to go ahead and make that and we can enjoy pancakes together. So grab yourself something to eat. Hopefully a sweet breakfast with me. Oh, look at that one. Nice one. I am so disappointed in myself right now for messing that one up. This is like stressful. And of course some juice. So we've got our pancakes. I ended up not using all the batter because it just would have made way too many. Um, we've got some berries. Jesse's, let's just appreciate this. And then I've gone for aesthetics here. So I'm just gonna pop, am I having the rest of these? Mm -hmm. oh. Pop my berries on. They've gone everywhere but on them. And now you see what I mean by, you couldn't really have these in a proper bowl. But let's put some syrup on. Oh, that was a, that was a lot. <laughs> cool. Yeah, wow. I'm gonna get a photo of this because it's like really cool. Alright, I'm gonna have a sip of juice. They're not strawberries cold. They are frozen. Okay. Let's do this. I've just mm, mold mine as well. Here's to fuck diet culture. We're having sweet breakfast with liquid calories, with juice, Ooh, I just said that, with syrup, I say that's added sugar because we just want to enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep eating. I'm not going to lie, I still feel really anxious. But our birds are flying, but yeah. We got this. Done. We just had a sweet breakfast. It was kind of on a plate, but it kind of had to be. But it's like a bowl plate. It's not a traditional plate. I had liquid calories. And what else did we challenge just then, basically? Syrup. Syrup, added sugars. Fuck diet culture. So I'm not going to say I don't feel guilty because I feel really guilty right now. But uh, just going to distract ourselves. And I'll see you at the at snack for our next food rule that we're gonna break so it's almost time for snack now and the food rule we're going to be breaking that i've seen a lot of is um 
I saw one like diet page was like only having fruit and vegetables for snacks. And honestly, like that's ridiculous because it's not going to give you any substance and it's not going to give you any energy for the day. You'll just be like hungry for your next meal. So we're going to break that one and we're going to, I haven't decided exactly what I'm having. Depends when we get there. The other one we're challenging is eating out. Um, I think I'm going to try and eat out a couple of times today because a lot of people said one of their rules is they can't eat out more than once a day. So we're challenging eating out and we'll be having a snack that's definitely got carbs, that's definitely got some form of protein, that's definitely got some sort of sugar or something like that. So I'm looking at getting like a coffee and syrup and something else, a cake or something, or maybe they do a Biscoff smoothie where we're going. So it's really muggy, like humid. So I'm gonna see what everyone else gets when we get there and because I really want coffee. Maybe they could put coffee in the smoothie. I'll see, but I will see you when we get there. Let's break more food rules. So our plans to go where we're gonna go didn't eventuate because there's a massive storm coming, so we had to change. And now we're in a really loud cafe and I'm having something that I didn't anticipate having. So food rules that we're breaking this time is eating out. Um, eating spontaneously and having another sweet food. So there's going to be coffee and cake. So I probably won't do much talking because it's really noisy in here, but I am freaking out because this was not planned. So I'm going to go order now. So we are in a really bad storm right now, which has probably thrown off the plans for the entire day. I'm drenched, we're all drenched, we've lost power, and there's literally nothing to do. So I thought I'd just jump on and explain. This isn't the first time this has happened. We lost power a couple of weeks ago for like 12 hours because of these storms. Like they're insane this year. And yeah, we're still gonna keep doing the challenge because that's what we do here, but yeah, we're lost power so it might look a little different so we're going to practice flexibility today and I don't know if you can hear the rumbling but I feel so much guilt still like isn't it amazing how like you can literally be in a really bad storm yet the eating disorder still wants to take control and take attention and just want to take over like I feel so much fucking guilt right now and I just want to cry but we still haven't been grocery shopping and we still would do that. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll talk to you again at lunchtime. So, we still have no power and we probably won't have power for who knows, probably the rest of the day. The storm just is kind of getting bad again. So we have to have lunch at home, which has ruined my plans for this challenge. So food rules will be challenging, will be, I guess, having more carbs and eating off the bowl plate thing again. And what else would you say? 
being challenged at the moment. Yeah, being out of control. Um, it's really, really disrupted me. And honestly, I feel like I've done this all for nothing. Like it's been ruined and I've wasted calories and it's really upset me. But there's nothing we can do. So we're going to make lunch because um, we have to. And then we're just going to see what happens. We'll snack and dinner and supper will be back to challenge but I guess this is just part of it that you know challenging that we can't always be in control and challenging that um yeah so I've got stuff for a sandwich I've got falafel we we can't heat anything up or do anything so I'm pretty limited um I've got sauce so I guess sauce is one of those food rules that was really common for people um, I've got vegan garlic aioli, so putting sauce on my sandwich. I've got chocolate milk as well, and I'll have a third component, but I've got to figure out what we can actually have, because we still need to go shopping as well. But we don't have a functioning fridge, so we're going to make... Yeah, there's a lot of trees that have fallen down, and yeah, it's just been crazy, but yeah. We're just going to make lunch and deal with the anxiety. So here we have this beautiful open sandwich thing that I attempted to create. And I remembered some more food rules worth challenging. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. Liquid calories, again, multiple times a day. And what else? I just said one that we were challenging. White bread. A lot of people said that, you know, having like white bread or something is a big food rule of theirs and that it's bad. So we're gonna have white bread, mainly because it's the only bread we have. Let's go in. Okay, so another rule that can get stuffed is picking food apart. I still tend to do that a lot. So I'm gonna challenge this. I'm sorry, the original plan for this challenge, this part of the challenge was to have lunch out again, but like we have no power. We can't even get our cars out of the garage or anything. So yeah, let's do it. How do I eat this? No, no. There is nothing wrong with white bread, I promise you. It can, it can be perfectly part of a healthy diet. Nothing wrong with carbs at every snack or meal either, which is exactly what's going to happen today. challenging for all the wrong reasons but we got through it so we had white bread we were very flexible with food we challenged liquid calories again had carbs again and you know what the world didn't end and it's okay to do that completely okay so this storm hopefully it passes soon but um yeah it can stay behind in 2023 as well so 2024, no food rules, no more storms, hopefully. So I'll see you at snack. No clue where it's gonna be. I'm having a really hard time sitting with the guilt and anxiety that this 
challenge day is bringing me because I don't have my access to my usual distractions and like I don't know what to do so my anxiety is really peaking right now but I know we have to keep going and I know that I can't use it as an excuse to not eat to not do the things but it's just it's hard getting stuck in your own thoughts and it's something I'm really bad at dealing with like I avoid my thoughts so much I avoid the bad feelings by keeping busy and now I can't keep busy so I'm forced to sit with them and I really don't like it and just this day hasn't gone to plan at all We gotta keep going because fuck diet culture and fuck diet rules. We gotta keep challenging them. So we still don't have power at the moment. We've actually come to Jesse's parents' place, which is where we used to live. So we can actually make stuff for snack and dinner. So again snack has been completely like yeah it just didn't happen in the sense that it hasn't gone to plan for what I was planning on having so we've had to improvise a bit and I'm going to have a liquid calories is going to be my challenge because they were saying you shouldn't drink your calories but we're going to so I'm gonna have a Biscoff smoothie so it's gonna have a Biscoff, banana, wheat bix, hey Pendle um, and milk. So, big F you to anorexia because we're allowed to drink calories. There's nothing wrong with that. We're allowed to have milk multiple times a day, which I have. And yeah, the other big challenge that I'm doing right now is that I'm the only one who's going to be having something. So I know for a lot of people, one of their rules is that you can't eat. It's, you can't eat when someone else is not eating. So I hate eating on my own. That's one of my big rules. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be eating on my own, which yeah, I hate, but we're challenging this. So let's go do it. probably what I'm struggling with the most but we're going to have a sip and see what it tastes like I actually finished what was in the rest of the blender as well so it's so biscoffy so we've got liquid calories um, being the only one that's eating which is a really big challenge and having milk for the fourth time today as well because it's been literally at every meal today having bananas again yeah showing these diet rules who's in charge and what 24 24 2024 can offer snack and there's nothing wrong with having a snack like that not at all so 
I guess the next time I'll see you will be at dinner where we're gonna break some really big food rules. So it's almost dinner time and we're in a working kitchen again, but this is probably the one I've been dreading the most today because it's definitely challenging a lot of my own rules, but also a lot of the rules that diet culture says and also a lot of the, a lot of the food rules that you guys were saying as well. So we're gonna be having mac and cheese and yeah, mac and cheese, which is intense because pasta scares me, but we're gonna make it just that little bit more challenging by having double carbs, as in like having another carb source. So all we've got access to is bread. So maybe we'll make it into garlic bread or something. But the thing with like the mac and cheese, obviously cheese is a really big deal as well. So we're doing double carbs, we're doing, no veggies as well. So I always feel like I have to have vegetables, especially at dinner. Like I have to have something healthy at every meal. So we're challenging that as well. So it's literally just gonna be the mac and cheese and some bread. And yeah. And I'm assuming Jesse will probably make me have the whole box. Hell yeah. Hmm. It's got milk in it as well. So we're having milk literally at pretty much every meal today. So. <sighs> okay, fuck anorexia. Oh, thanks. Let's see how much is in it while we're here. Oh. That's not as much as I thought. Okay, no, it is more than I thought. Do I have to have the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. It literally fills up the whole pot. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cook. Oh, and it's got butter in it as well. Vegan butter. Great. Another fear and rule, like don't add butter to dinner, but we're gonna break it. They look a bit different. Like, even the pasta looks different. So, I'm oh, sorry, my shadow's in the way, but see if you can guess which one's vegan. It's that one. And just to add to insult, Jessie's decided that we're making our bread herb bread. So we're putting butter on it and herbs, just in case we haven't had enough butter tonight. Have the herbs, please. So here it is. So we're doing a dinner without vegetables and we're having double carbs. So we've got our mac and cheese, our pasta and herb bread. So even extra butter, which is like, I never put butter on anything. So this is really big. So, okay. It's so cheesy. I've never had real mac and cheese before, like before I went vegan. So I don't have nothing to compare it to, but I'm guessing it tastes pretty similar. And we ignored the box's portion sizes and we had the whole box each, so. And I don't know how that would feed more than one person. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, this would not feed one person, like, like more than one person. So that's why portion sizes and boxes are nonsense. And 2024 is the year we're not going to listen to them anymore. Can we 
also add that we're not eating from plates either. Literally, all the weight loss like websites and stuff are like, eat from a plate, eat from a plate, it'll help you lose weight. And it's something to do with like the perspective of how much food's on it and like how your brain interprets it. I get that. Like we learned that in dietetics, but you don't need to eat everything from a plate. It's just not reasonable. Done. Vegan mac and cheese, no veggies, double carbs with the bread, milk again, eating out of a bowl, so we're not we're not doing that trick. And yeah. And I'm glad that one's over. We've literally had the mac and cheese in the cupboard for so long, I've just been avoiding it. But it's done. Another big F you to diet culture. So, we're probably going to head home soon. Um, apparently, our house still has no power. So, everything will be done by candlelight tonight. Um, yeah, and we'll see what we have for supper there. Again, my plans have probably been altered because, I don't know, we don't have any power. And, like, our fridge isn't cold or anything. So, we'll see what we do when we get there. But we've got this, guys. We can do this. Setting ourselves up for a good 2024. So you can see all the trees that have fallen down and there's some fallen power lines as well somewhere up here. Because um, yeah, you, you can't really see it but one of those power lines is actually down. Can you see it? Yeah, that one there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a bit of destruction. See a few trees and stuff down. We had a lot of trees down. Where we are. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty bad. They've cleared some of the road though. Yeah, here you go. Some of these power lines are down <laughs> quite badly. More trees, isn't it? Yeah. This looks a bit horror movie ish. <laughs> I think we'll have to put the torch on. So obviously we still don't have power. Um, there we go. Yeah, um, we still don't have power. So we have to do snack in the dark today. And um, yeah, we didn't have many options. Again, we don't have like the ice creams melted and stuff like that. So we thought maybe for one last challenge for today, we're gonna do something unportioned because I feel like a lot of us rely on portion sizes and that we take portion sizes as words. So I'm gonna move these candles so I don't burn myself. Um, I've got a chocolate reindeer here from my work, um, a vegan chocolate reindeer, and I'm just going to eat it without portion sizes. And I really don't like that because I feel really out of control and I guess this is also another moment of, you know, you're allowed to eat these kind of foods any day you want, at any time you want. And the biggest probably challenge for the moment that I wanted to do is um, the fact that I'm eating past 7 p.m. So it's 7.39, you can't really see that. And a lot of people said that one of their biggest challenges or like one of their biggest rules is eating past a certain time. So, um, can you get some scissors, please? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do that because your body doesn't care what time it is. It still needs to have its snack and thank you. Um, yeah, so one last food rule. I'm sorry this challenge didn't really turn out how I expected it to. Um, but it's been a good day of doing flexibility and yeah. Oh my God, look at the size of this. Okay. Can we just go for it? Okay. Mm. It 
it is good. I just, I'm freaking out because I just don't know where to stop. Like, I know it'd be so easy to not have enough. So I've got to make sure I have plenty, but it's just where that, that is. I'm used to everything being portioned. So, hmm. beneficial food today. portion snack that I feel really guilty for now but it's done so again I'm sorry this challenge didn't really go to plan but I think if anything we've learned that we can be flexible and that nothing bad's going to happen if you challenge your fear foods your fear rules your food rules diet culture rules all of them can get fucked this coming year, 2024, is going to be your year. And it's time that we say goodbye to our eating disorders and really just make it about us, but all the good. Because you deserve it. So I hope you enjoyed this chaotic video. Um, hopefully next time I see you, we'll have power. And I really hope that your 2024 is better than this year was. I hope for all of us that it is. It's been a rough one, but I can't believe this has all happened and I am really grateful for all the support and all the kind words and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.